What's up guys, EB here with Macintosh Tips. Today I'm going to show you guys how to make a makeshift screen flow project or video for YouTube videos. Um, there's a lot of guys out there that don't want to pay the $99 for screen flow and I understand uh, I'd rather you guys not pay um, and use the tip instead of using a pirated software or steal the software from screen flow. Um, one, it's illegal and two, it's just, you know, if you get caught, it's, you're going to get fined. So I'm sure you guys had to do this, and um, all you need is Snow Leopard, and in Snow Leopard you're gonna you're gonna find fed, uh, several good features that's gonna allow you to do this. Um, you're gonna find QuickTime, the new ver news version of QuickTime. You're also gonna find iMovie, the latest version of iMovie, um, and that's all you need. iMovie 09. That's all you need to make uh, this tip. All right. If you have a built-in mic on your laptop, this works even better, and also an iSight. All right. I've got a few notes here, just to keep looking at, just so I can make sure I cover everything I want to in this video. Now, uh, this makeshift screen flow, you guys can call it uh, quick quick flow or screen time, whatever you guys want to call it. Um, just comment below, tell me what you, guys, you want to call it, and I'll make a video on it on our uh, blog channel on MacintoshTips.com. So you guys stay tuned for that. All right, so what I said before, uh, I'm going to be using screen flow to film this video, but all I'm going to be using is quick time to edit the video um, in iMovie. So you guys how to do that. All right, so all you're going to do is go down here to quick time, open this up, and go to file, screen, recording. So once you hit that, you're going to get a little black bar here where it says screen recording. On the right side, you're going to have an arrow. Click the arrow and go to either medium quality or high quality. I'm going to do high quality um, just for HD purposes um, in case you guys want to upload it HD for YouTube. This is the best way to do it. You can do it by medium e export to HD, but the clarity is not going to be as good. All right. Now, the only bad thing about QuickTime recording for screen capture or screen recording is it doesn't catch your audio or it's, it can't... Uh, import your audio. There's several several ways that you can go over this. One is you can either record in the background with GarageBand um, and put your audio in. It's a very simple way. Or the second way is record over and then do a voiceover in iMovie, which is what I'm going to do for you guys today. All right. So all you do is once you're ready, you hit this red button. You're going to have a black bar right here at the top. You're going to press stop recording whenever you're done. Or you can press control or command control escape. So start recording, and I'm recording my screen now. Okay, some of you guys show you how to do a quick demo now. In, in quick time, it's not catching my voice um, or audio, so I'm going to show you a quick, a quick tip, I guess, for you guys just to, as a demo purposes. Some of you guys had I'm going to show you guys how to open this in um, a default setting and keep that default setting set for every picture or movie file, or whatever it is that you open. So all you're going to do is you're going to right click on it. And it's going to open up with this nice drop down menu for your right click. You're going to go to open with. Now, if you press alt or option key, you're going to see that it says it switches to always open with. I'm going to let go. It says open with. Okay, now I want this picture to open with screen or with uh, Photoshop always. So it's set as default as preview. I'm going to hold it down. It's going to say always open with Photoshop. Okay, as you see there, it opens with Photoshop. If I close out of Photoshop and press it again, it's going to automatically open to Photoshop. All right. Go ahead and put out a Photoshop and continue the tutorial. All right, so I'll show you guys the tip. All you're gonna do is go up to the top menu and press stop recording. Now, from here you're gonna come up with a nice dropout menu, and it's gonna show exactly what you are recording here, and it's gonna show you in a quick time preview. You can hit Command F to go to full time for full screen, and we can preview what we've gone over. So I hit play. And you can see here I'm buffing through it. I'm showing how to do the demo. All right. Now, one thing I did not tell you guys how to do was how to zoom in whenever you're making a selection. Okay. The easiest way to zoom in when you're making a selection is when you go to that, you go back and you are quick screen flow and quick time. Whenever you're doing a screen recording and you would like to zoom in on a certain item uh, because you can't do that in, in regular quick time, then what you do is that as you're as you're recording. Say I want to um, do that demo again. What you're going to do is hold down either your control key or your apple key, which is your command key, and you're going to put two fingers on the trackpad and go forwards. Backwards zoom out, forwards zoom in. So as you see here, I have it set as default or open with. If I press my apple key, which I have it set as, or command key, I can zoom in and show you guys around the desktop. Very simple and easy. And it's recording this as it's zoomed in. So I'm going to zoom out, stop the recording, preview it, and as you see here when I get up to the tip, 
it zooms in seamlessly, easy. It's very easy for your for your viewers to follow along with your tutorial and your uh, your tips. All right. So we've got our we've got our audio recording. Now we're going to switch over to QuickTime and do the video recording. All right. So I switched over from my screen recording and screen flow with only my um, audio and screen recording feature. I'm not recording my face anymore or through the eyesight. So what you're going to do is open up QuickTime, go up here and go to File and Movie Recording. All right. Now once you have this menu, um, you're going to go over to the right side of this drop down arrow. And you're going to choose your quality and built-in internal mic. Now once you click built-in internal mic or or line in, you're going to start your movie. Um, and the easiest way to do this, since on QuickTime you're not recording your screen. Is all you're going to do is you're going to take your screen recording, such as this, and you're going to basically talk about this as you're regularly doing a, a video a tutorial. So I'm just going to play through it, show you guys what I'd say. What's up guys, this is EB Macintosh Tips. Let me show you guys how to do a quick tip on how to always, always up an application in a default setting. All right, so as you see here in my open window, all I'm gonna do is zoom in here for you guys. And as you see on the right side, it says preview or default. All you're gonna do is you're gonna press down your alt key or option key, zoom in, and as you see there, if you press it down, it says always open with. It's very simple to see, it's easy. And as you set it, that it always stays at that file. Hope you guys have enjoyed. Stay tuned. Peace. All right, so as you see, it's very simple. It's easy. It's all you have to do. All right, let's go to switch over to iMovie and continue with this tutorial. All right, so we're back in iMovie. All I'm going to do is switch over and make a new project. I'm going to call this QuickTime Demo. All right, this is going to open up into a new project window. And I'm going to go down and find my um, screen recording. And all I'm going to do is take my screen recording of my default settings with me zooming in and I'm going to select it and drag it into my project. It's very simple and easy if you guys have done this um, it's, basic, it's just basic iMovie drag and drop with your clips. Alright so as you see here I've got my clips. I'm going to expand this a little bit for you guys to see. It's a very simple clip. It's just a quick tip and as you see here if I play through it there's no audio. Alright it's kind of an issue. Alright so what I want to do here to fix that is you can go um, to either your mic settings and this is called a voiceover all right or you can do the default um, screen recording that I showed you guys earlier through QuickTime so as you see here I've got my face screen recorded through the eyesight and all I'm going to do is I'm going to find where I would like to start to talk so right around here so say I want to capture this this much. All I'm gonna do is click, drag over the clip, make sure there's a plus button, drop, and press picture and picture. Alright? You're gonna see me pop up above this. You can expand the clip by just clicking on the right side of it and expand it out as long as you want. And as you see here in the bottom, it's gonna to adjust to your uh, settings. Alright? In the right window here, you're gonna have a um, four margin marker around your um, default eyesight video so all you're going to do is you're going to change it to however, wherever you want it you can also double click on the video and put a border around the video similar to this and also you can change the dissolve to zoom or snap snap is going to switch your eyesight with your video and zoom is going to zoom in from the corner I think zoom is a very smooth feature I'm going to bump it up for the speed just a little bit so it looks a little better and add a drop shadow All right press done make sure my audio is correct and basically guys you've got a uh, makeshift screen flow project so check it out what is up guys this is EB Macintosh tips to make today I'm gonna show you guys how to do a quick tip on your desktop on always how to open a certain file with a certain program so there it is guys what's cool about um, what's cool about this is you can take the audio EB Macintosh tips sorry you can take the audio from your clip drag it up and press audio only alright so press audio only and as you see there 
I'm gonna start talking. This is EB Macintosh Tips. All right, and from here, you can take your video. See, I'm gonna come up here when I start to throw the peace sign. Drag this in. Make sure it connects with your audio. This is the only thing that's kind of tricky about this. Is you have to keep make sure it's it's up and running. Press picture and picture. Have it in this corner. Press done. Of course, you can change your settings whenever you want. And then go back over. Maybe you want to go away and then go to a different corner. So go here. Press picture and picture. And say I want to open up in this corner down here, or right in the middle. It doesn't matter. All right. And as you see, there's going to be snap to margins um, connecting iMovie. So now my, my voice might be sync, might not be synced because I didn't sync it for the course for this. But you want to make sure if you do um, distract the audio or detach the audio, you want to make sure that in your video you do take both of these down. So take that audio down, take this audio down. Um, this way you don't have two audios running in the background. So if it's slightly off, you're not going to see a difference. Play through it. What is up, guys? This is EB Macintosh Tips. I go away. Today I'm going to show you guys how to do a quick. I go to a different corner on your desktop. So you can also use the zoom feature and the swap the swap feature in iMovie. It makes it a lot more seamlessly and it's more pleasing to to your viewers. Anyways, this has been the iMovie tutorial. Um, it's very simple. It's easy. The best way to do this is through QuickTime. Import it into iMovie, and you've got a makeshift screen time or quick flow video for you and your desktop and your YouTube viewers. Hope you guys have enjoyed. Stay tuned for more videos. Several reviews going on, and we are looking for to do a swap up on our channels. Um, nothing really big. We're not going to get rid of our Macintosh Tips channel. We're just going to add some new channels and take away some channels. So stay tuned for those up updates and check out the new um, MacintoshTips.com. We're constantly updating blogs and stuff like that. Stay tuned, guys. Thanks for watching. Peace.